Hey everyone, Alex here, and today we're doing a follow-up of the most underutilized exercises for the legs. Today we're doing upper body. However, I will not be going over the biceps, the triceps, the rear delts, or the lateral delts, because I think everyone, everyone knows curls, everyone does them, everyone knows skull crushers, everyone does them, everyone knows lateral raises, everyone does them, everyone knows reverse flies, most people do them, so, you know, no point in doing that. First up for the chest, we have the dip. A lot of people do like the bench press, dumbbell bench press, incline bench, all that, but not a lot of people do dips for the chest. And I personally, I do dips for the triceps, but it still hits the chest a good amount. So yeah, this, this, this is a very, very good exercise. Next up for the front delts, we have kind of a controversial one. We have front raises. I believe that people can benefit from a front raise because it isolates the front delts very good. However, this should not replace your regular pressing. Here's an exercise that personally kind of bugs my shoulders, but if you can do them safely with no pain, these are a great option. Dumbbell pullovers for the lats. There's no such thing as an upper chest pullover, I don't think. But this is a very good exercise for getting a huge stretch on the um, lats. And I would recommend doing this with a dumbbell in each hand instead of one dumbbell if you want to ease shoulder pain. But yeah, this is a very good exercise for stretching the lats. One of my personal favorites. Up next for the traps are the shrugs. I do them with a barbell. You can do dumbbells. You can do a shrug machine. Whatever you want. Some form of, some form of shrug will really build those upper traps, make you look huge in the clothes. I think everyone wants that. Or at least every guy wants that. Next up for the abs, we have the hanging corkscrew. I recommend doing these in the cabin's chair instead of the floor because you're not limited by the floor. You can move your pelvis however you want. And it's a very good exercise. It's very difficult too. So if you're looking for a challenge, this is a great option. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the forearms. And we have the uh, test of not only like forearm strength, but just will. Uh, dead arm hangs. We all know them. Most of us hate them. I actually really like these. I don't do these regularly, but I do a lot of like grip stuff with RDLs, pull-ups, chin-ups, stuff like that builds my grip. So you don't really need these per se, but if you want to do them, they are a great challenge. And finally, the neck. Uh, not a lot of people even know about neck training. However, neck training can actually decrease your risk of concussions. So they're quite good to do. Also, having a thicker neck makes you look bigger. Uh, these are very difficult, by the way. Even just like with no weight, if you do them slowly like me, they get pretty intense. That is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. There's not a whole lot to go over, especially with how fast I make my uh, videos. So if you want a video on like overrated exercises or a video on um, unique exercises, then I would be happy to do that. Anyways, take care.